Good afternoon. And welcome everybody to Census 2017 here at Eindhoven in the Netherlands. And for those who happen to be watching at home on Census Digital and are in the United States or any other part of the world, good morning or good evening, of course, to those time zones who are watching on. Welcome, as I say, to Census 2017. I'm very happy to be back as the Master of Ceremonies. I was the Master of Ceremonies last year. And this year there are 10 teams who are going to present their incredible and innovative work on biosensors. They've been working really hard over the last nine months on some incredible projects, and they're going to present some of that work to you here today. Now, before we get on to the census aspect, I'm going to introduce myself. So my name is Barry Fitzgerald, and I am a research scientist who is based at TU Delft. I also have an affiliation here with Eindhoven University. Um, but in addition to being a research scientist, I'm a huge fan of superheroes, a massive fan of superheroes. And last year, I self-published a book called The Secrets of Superhero Science. And this is an image taken in the publicity for that book that shows me in a laboratory here at Eindhoven with the book. And if you look very, very closely, you might actually see the spider just over my shoulder. And this photograph was excellently taken by the photographer who's here today, and that is Bart, Bart van Overbecke. As I say, I'm based at TU Delft in the Netherlands. Delft is in the west of the Netherlands between The Hague and Rotterdam. And this is a picture of the library, which is on the campus of TU Delft. Now, in addition, as I said, to being a scientist, I'm also interested in, in publicity of science in terms of scientific communication and outreach. And for that, I've written two books. I've already mentioned the first book, which is on the secrets of superhero science. And in that book, I talk about the real science and current scientific research that's been done all around the world that could lead to the emergence of superpowers in our future, in your future. And the second book, which I published late last year, is about the ultimate superhero, Santa Claus because Santa Claus does some incredible things at Christmas to deliver presents around the world. And I think that we could learn quite a lot from his innovative engineering and scientific approaches. And that book is called The Secret Science of Santa Claus. Also this year, I actually hosted uh, the very first conference on superhero science. It was called The Secrets of Superhero Science at the Delft International um, Festival of Technology in June. And for that event, I had six speakers from six different research areas talking about their work and how it could lead to the emergence of superpowers in the real world. And the sixth speaker, the final speaker, was the most important because they considered ethics. And they talked about, how, well, how do we manage and control and introduce superpowers into society in the future? In addition to that, I also have also set up a brand new open access journal, which is called Superhero Science and Technology, asking and inviting people to submit journals, journal papers about their research to be read by anybody. It's completely open access, free to publish in, and free to read. But my links with Census are very, very strong. Ever since I was asked to be the Master of Ceremonies for last year, um, and I absolutely said yes, because I think this is an incredible competition, and it's an amazing, innovative, and collaborative effort between students from many, many universities. And since, I, since that very first event last year, in 2016, I've collaborated with Census on a number of things. For example, I presented at a conference in Veldhoven, which is a small town close to Eindhoven, and I arranged a, a kind of a superhero science display, and Census were there. So you can see here in the picture I have Menno and two of the members of the test team from last year who brought along their sensor, which was used to measure creatinine. And the link for me with superheroes is that biosensors, well, if we want to find the ultimate biosensors, we need to go look at the Iron Man suit built by Tony Stark, because that is filled with a catalog of amazing biosensors. In addition to that, I've also created um, educational resources, and one of which I show you on the, on the left-hand side of the screen is one that I actually send out to people when they buy my book. So if someone orders my book, they get this. They get this uh, little, little, um, little leaflet that promotes the link between census and Iron Man and goes through some of the science and importantly, as I say, highlights the, the significance of this competition. Also, earlier this year, census were at Quiz Night Excel, which is a massive technological quiz that takes place here in Eindhoven every year as part of Dutch Technology Week. And Census contributed a question to that quiz with my help. And I have to say, it was a great question. And Census were there and very, very, very noticeable at the quiz because they were wearing the very bright red T-shirts with their Census logo, so everyone knew they were there. But most importantly for me, I think Census is amazing. I think it's an 
a brilliant competition. I actively promote census when I go to schools, universities, companies, uh, bookshops, anywhere, festivals. I mention census and give you an example later on this year as part of Science Week in Ireland, I'll be speaking at more than 30 uh, locations around, around Ireland about science, about engineering, and I will mention census in every single one of those talks. Now, the teams are here today. I've talked about my love for superheroes. You're really all superheroes. You're Tony Starks, you're all innovators, you're developers, you're creators. You are gonna make something that is gonna benefit and help the world. That is, that is gonna make the world a better and safer place. And biosensors could change how we diagnose diseases in the future. And you should all be very, very proud of yourselves to be part of this biosensing revolution and part of Census 2017. So that's me. Now, before we get on to hearing from some of the teams, I'd like to first of all introduce the chair of the organization of Census 2017, and I hope I pronounced your name correctly, I really do, I probably won't, and that is Anna de Drew. Welcome everyone to the second edition of Census, and I am very excited to see that so many people of you have joined us here today to be witness of the amazing accomplishments of the teams. And uh, I think yesterday already was a really big success and we had some amazing outcomes and I'm really looking forward to uh, what, we, what the teams will be showing us today. So as you've all heard, uh, we will be doing one minute pitches today. So all the teams will be giving one minute pitch to tell you about their innovation, about their biosensor, and they will try to draw you to their stand or to their, to their uh, longer pitch later on the market today. So, uh, since all the teams have built a biosensor for the same purpose, the detection of anti-pro-BMP, uh, which is an indicator for heart failure, uh, I want to spare them some time and I will tell you something about the heart failure and about anti-pro-BMP. So, first of all, heart failure. This is a very important public health problem with a prevalence of about 1% worldwide. So, this means that there are over 75 million people worldwide are suffering from heart failure. So a heart failure, it occurs when the heart cannot pump, ar pump around the amount of blood that the body needs. And when the heart is not able to pump around the amount of blood, it starts to work harder. And when it does this, the heart muscle is under too much stress. And when this happens, the heart starts to produce anti-pro-BMP, which is the biomarker that the teams are detecting with their biosensor. And anti-pro-BMP is present in the blood of all, human, of all healthy humans, but when the heart muscle is under too much stress, uh, the production of this protein increases significantly, and that makes this a very suitable biomarker for the detection of heart failure. So before I give the mic back to Barry and let the teams do their one-minute pitch, I want to tell you something about the different awards that the teams are competing for. So these are the four awards. First of all, the Analytical Performance Award, and this is the award for the best measurement performance. Then the Translation Potential Award, which is for the best business case. The Creativity Award for the best innovation, best innovative solution. And then the Public Inspiration Award. And this is a special award because it is determined by you, the public. And the way you determine this award is by voting. And um, this is our newly developed online platform. It's called Census Digital. And on this platform, all of you can cast your vote. And you can find this on our website, census.org. So when you go to Census Digital, you can click on the Vote Now button, and then you will be, will be at this page. And there you can select two teams, your top two favorite teams, and then you can uh, click on the button, and then you will be asked to sign in with a Google account, and then you have cast your vote. Um, we ask you to select two teams to... Um, minimize the amount of uh, local bias, of course. So we hope that you will make an educated choice and visit all the stands and uh, vote for the two team teams you think are best. But besides voting, there are also many other things that you can do at Census Digital. First of all, you can watch the live stream, so everything what is going on on the event will be broadcasted live on this platform. Also, you can see the testing results of yesterday. So all the results that the teams have given us that, our, that their biosensor measured, it'll, it's published on this website. Then you can also ask questions to the teams, which you can submit via the contribute button. 
And also if you have any content yourself, like movies or pictures, you can submit them through that button. So now that you know how to vote for your favorite teams, and now you also know how your friends and family and colleagues who couldn't be here today can also follow census from all over the world, uh, I would like to give the floor back to Barry and to tell something about the program and start the pitches for the teams. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anna, for the introduction to why everybody's here and why they've made these particular amazing biosensors that you're going to be hearing about today. So let's go through the program then for today. You've, we're in the middle of the opening. Um, after I've said a few words um, about the market, we'll introduce each of the teams individually, who will all give a one-minute pitch about their work. I'm very strict. I'll have a stopwatch. All, all has to be under a minute. Absolutely. Um, thereafter, then, we will go to the market where you can hear more about the individual teams and their, and their projects based on their presentations in the, and in the individual podium. So as part of the market, what you'll actually be engaging with is you'll be able to go and visit the teams and hear about their work in more detail at a five-minute pitch, which will all be taking place on podium one. In addition to that, also in the market, we also have a workshop by Diagnostic for you. For you. Um, then there are some high school students, three groups, who will be presenting um, some work, and also two pitches from High Test, one of the sponsors. That will all be taking place on Podium 2. And finally, in addition to that, there will be a representative from the Heart Foundation who will have a tablet which will be, you will be able to make a digital heart bloom from your heartbeat if you wish to do so. So now, after that, then we have a, um, after the market, we come back at uh, 3.30 and we have a, uh, a speech by uh, Kaya Kayat um, entitled The Future of Health and How Sensors Will Help. Quickly after that, we're into the award ceremony and then at the end, it's celebration time and to congratulate and of course network and reflect on the success of Census 2017. So right, let's get on to the pitches. So we have 10 uh, representatives on stage to my right. They are all from individual teams. And um, they have, I'm very, very strict with this. If you remember last year, I was incredibly strict. Everybody has one minute to pitch their work. Um, and I will click onto the slides. In some cases, there are some technical aspects that have to be uh, dealt with in, with individual teams. To start things off, I'll invite a representative from the Swedish team, which is Upsense, to say a few words about their work. So, hello, my name is Anna, and I'm a member of Upsen, the Uppsala University team. As you know, NT-ProBMP is an important biomarket, but nowadays the test are, has to be centralized to a hospital, to medical centers, and needs to be done under uh, professional supervision. But what if you could take those tests easily, within 10 minutes, and whatever, any time you want? So one, this has been the reasons that driving the, our project. What we achieve is a sensor where we use quantum dots, magnetism, and Wi-Fi based. With this, the data is sent really easily to our smartphones, the doctor, and the response can be quite quick and quite fast and efficient. Are you wondering more about our sensor, how we've done it? Come to our next bit and our stand and ask any questions you want. Thank you. Very well done. The next team is from Egypt, and the team name is AUC Imhopis. Is that correct? Imhotips. All right, so who are we? Well, aside from inheriting that uh, good-looking guy's features, we are the Egyptian Imhotips. And that means that despite the underfunding, the political instability, and the security issues that we face, we are here with an idea and with a prototype that can be used not just in developing countries, but in the Egyptian market, among which are 27% people under the poverty line. We are here despite our circumstances, and we are here to learn. Thank you. Hear us out. And the next team is from England, and that is IC Census. Hey, ladies and gents. I'm here to represent our Imperial College Agent, um, Census team. We have developed a magnet-based 
vertical floor asset that can fit in the palm of your hand. If you want to learn more, come check us out. Short and sweet, I like your style. Uh, <laughs> number four is the team from the United States, and that is Census NC. Hello, everyone. I'm representing Census NC. My name's Mike. I'd like to encourage you to check us out a little bit later on. You can see my five-minute pitch. But our device is a multiplexed, multiple analyte detecting disk-based assay that we can use to simultaneously test many things at less than $4 per test. Thank you. Very short. Next, we're on to team five, which is the Swiss team. And they have to do some little additional presentations. The team name is Swiss Sense. Hi, everyone. I'm representing the Swiss Sense team from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne. So our team is composed of students from microengineering, materials engineering, and management of technology. As you can see, we have zero bioengineers, but we still manage to survive, kind of. <laughs> Uh, we're from Switzerland, which is well known for cheese, chocolates, the Alps, and keeping your money safe. But we also make sensors. The Swiss sensor that we designed and developed is compact and easy to use due to its plug-and-play system that houses a microfluidic chip. It can also be easily adapted to uh, detect many other molecules. If you're interested in finding out more and playing around with microfluidics, come to our stand. Thank you. <laughs> The next team will be uh, the team from Scotland, and the team name is Glasgow. Hello, I'm Theo, and I'm from the University of Glasgow. Along with the team, we have prepared a love wave biosensor uh, that uses magnetic microparticles. Uh, we have prepared something unique for you uh, to show you how we detect antipro BMP. Hago. If you would like to see more, please visit our five-minute piece at 2 o'clock. Thank you. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, you've already clicked. That's uh, a very interesting pitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> team number seven is the German team, and it's sensible. Okay, so hello everyone, the Team Sensible want to welcome you. We are a group of nine members and we are from Germany, um, from the University of Applied Life Sciences. And for our... Oh, okay. Um, for our biosensor, we choose a famous special material with special properties. For example, this is a conductor. It is a real uh, ultra um, light. And, um, yeah, if you want to know which material we choose, um, stay here and we want to reveal the secret in 20 minutes. Thank you very much for the pitch. So we're on to team number eight. It's the team from Belgium. I, I, first time I read the name, I actually got confused. I wasn't sure, but it's actually called Cardio Bit. Yeah. Very nice. Hi. Um, our team presents Cardio Bit. Every day we use the light to sense our surroundings, but we CardioBeat, we use the light to detect something we cannot see. CardioBeat offer goes beyond a cardiovascular test. We offer a personalized advice. We have developed an innovative portable device that can be placed in elderly care facilities, but we are also working on a smartphone-based case device with in-home use. In both of our devices, we would like to improve life quality and expectancy. But if you're curious about it, don't hesitate, and we kindly invite you all to pass by our stand and follow us in our general presentation. Thanks for your attention. We have uh, two teams left. This is the hometown team. This is the Dutch team from the Netherlands, and they are test. 
Yes, good afternoon. I'm Imke and I represent the Eindhoven University of Technology. Exactly one year ago, we started our journey to detect anti-pro BMP. This nanoscale biomarker is too small to detect directly. And I would love to tell you how we use magnets and lasers to detect this uh, and solve the puzzle uh, with a small practical demo. To investigate the impact on society, we conducted a survey with healthcare with heart failure patients in the Netherlands and had many conversations with healthcare specialists. One of the interesting results is that the specialists promised to lower the burden of hospitalization. So I hope to see you all at our stand and our following pitch to tell you how we solved this puzzle and how we managed to build our own working biosensor. Thank you. And last but not least is the team from Denmark and they are Detect Us. Hello, my name is Dionysia and I am here to represent uh, our team from the Technical University of Denmark, uh, Detect Us. Uh, we managed to develop a biosensor that it is uh, based on uh, uh, silicon nanowires, uh, functionalized with antibodies specific for uh, anti-pro BNP. Uh, the most important thing about our biosensor is that it is, it is simple, fast, and um, also uh, very user-friendly, which means that our patients can uh, use it uh, on their homes uh, without the need to, of going to the doctors. So if you want to hear more about our biosensor and also check out uh, the app that we have created, you can come uh, to our stand and also you should come to our pitch afterwards. Thank you very much. And there we have all 10 pitches from the 10 teams. And I hope that they have said enough to entice you to come and hear a little bit more about them. Remember, their five-minute talks are all going to take place on Podium 1. There is a timetable outside for those Podium talks in case you're not sure when what team is going to be speaking and you'd like to go and see them and hear more from them. So this is the end of the pitches. As I say, we're going to start now in a few moments' time with the market, which will involve these teams saying a little bit more about what they've done so that you can get a, a better taste, and a better flavor for their impressive work and, and all the things that they've been uh, presenting yesterday during the, uh, the live testing and what they've been doing over the last nine months in their work for the project. Um, I should also point out a couple of things. I want to make sure that everyone is once again aware of the Census Digital Platform. And of course, as was presented by Anna earlier on, there is the voting app application there. So please make sure that you're aware of that. If you have, for example, an issue with your, your handheld device or a laptop or mobile phone or smartphone, etc., there will be computers present outside in the market to allow you to vote um, if you are suffering from issues with, with uh, logging on or, or thereafter. Um, I'd also like to say that because this market is going to take place from 1.30 until 3.30, I'm sure that a lot of people might be a little bit hungry during the whole process. There's actually a food truck outside selling traditional Dutch toasties. And as they say in the Netherlands, it's, it's echt lekker. Um, <laughs> So if, you, uh, if you're a little peckish, which I'm sure many people might be during the market, please take advantage of that particular service. And uh, as I say, it's just right outside the building here. So with that, I would just like to say um, that we have concluded the first part of the event today. You've heard the 10 one-minute pitches, some of them very, very interesting approaches, some of them short, and some of them have some nice ways of hopefully enticing you to come and have a look. Please go out to the market, we'll start in a few moments and hear from these teams about their amazing work. And we will see everybody back here at 3.30 sharp after the market. So go for it and enjoy yourselves.